guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am here deep within California because this is the official first drive of this vehicle right here. What is it? It's a 2024 all new Acura Integra Type S. But before we get into this iconic nameplate with extra beefed up performance, let's talk about what's going on here. The Integra, it made a mighty return. And what's interesting, there was some controversy. There was some debating and there was even arm wrestling and tongue wrestling going on about was it truly a real Integra? Well, Acura having some surprises up their sleeves knew that eventually they would keep that Type S name going, not only on the TLX, not only on the MDX, but now on the Integra. And what that does is it elevates the performance level. Now, a lot of people might think competition for this vehicle is the Elantra N from Hyundai, maybe uh, a Subaru WRX, even a Volkswagen Golf R. But Acura says you're looking and putting your focus in the wrong category. This being a compact luxury performance vehicle, they're gunning for some other names. Audi with the S3, Mercedes AMG with the CLA, and of course, BMW with the M235i. Now, what I want to find out is, has Acura really brought enough performance to the Integra name with the Type S to really go after that competition? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this platinum white Integra Type S and find out. Right off the bat, where are some of the things that you're gonna see performance? First of all, you're looking at extra width. And what that extra width is gonna do is not only give us a sexy body style, but also the space in between the two front wheels, what's known as the track, is wider. And when we're talking about performance, because of that wider track, this vehicle is going to grip and handle unlike others in the same segment. Now, you're of course gonna get full functionality at the corners, and then as we come across the front, the way that they redesigned the grill on this Integra Type S flows 170% more air than on a standard Integra. That is gonna give you performance. Why? Because as you lower engine temps and keep them lower, that helps you produce power. Hot air robs us of performance and power, and that's a major way of them changing that to get more air for all the inner bits, especially on the lower portion, that large intercooler for a turbocharged engine, and all this aero is gonna give us more downforce. How does that give us performance? That keeps us planted to the track, your favorite twisty road, or an autocross event. Now, as we rise up, another thing that tells us that this is performance is aluminum hood. We have an aluminum hood, obviously lighter than stamp steel, with a functional heat extractor to help get that heat out from underneath the hood. But that's only the beginning. Now, as we come around the bend, a lot of people do not give credit to tires. And when we talk about this particular platinum white Integra Type S, not only do we have the optional copper colored wheels, but these wheels are 19 inches in diameter and nine and a half inches wide. What does that mean? You're gonna get the widest rubber ever put on an Integra. These tires are 265 on the width, 30 series sidewall, and they're the nice Pilot Sport 4S tires to give us that sticky grip. You can, of course, go online or go to your dealer and get some optional Cup 2 tires that will give you even more grip. But that's just another big equation to performance. What else do we have going on? You got brake rotors that are almost 14 inches in diameter, two piece, which that's gonna help dissipate heat because you have your hat, that's a different material than the rotor. Aluminum hat, steel rotor, and then of course, that's a name and performance, Brembo. These Brembo calipers with the Acura badge is gonna give us great braking capability. And then of course, another part of the equation is adaptive suspension. What does that mean? When you go into the different modes, it's gonna adjust the compression and rebound damping at all four corners, plus the way the suspension is configured, even though this is a front wheel drive vehicle, it will not handle like a typical front wheel drive with a lot of push and torque steer. This is gonna get the power to the ground because we got a mechanical limited slip diff for that power. 
Now, as we come down the side, you got that flared fender look. You got sleek aero bits. Not only the fender flares being aerodynamically efficient, but the lower sill channeling the air towards the rear of the vehicle. I love the way you got that sport back design. Really makes it stand out. You park this next to an S3, you park this next to a Mercedes AMG CLA, you're gonna see how much more aggressive the style, the stance, everything is on this particular Integra Type S. Now, when we get to the back, just like we have aero up front, we got that extra aero out back with this optional carbon fiber lip spoiler on the hatch, and then dropping it all the way down. Not only does this rear bumper look good, but it also has your aero built into the underside of the vehicle, and we have our larger outlet exhaust, 4.33 inches, on each diameter, a performance valve, and they took the freaking resonator out in the exhaust system to give us a little bit more rumble and a little bit more performance. But while we go ahead, let's get under the hood because that's the biggest piece. That's that engine for the Type S. Let's check it out. All right, guys, I got the hood popped open. Now you do have a prop rod. The good news about that is you could actually put the prop rod in the service position. That allows the hood to be opened even more underneath the hood. This is where we see it. This is the most powerful version of this particular engine. And what are we talking about? We're talking about that K20C two liter inline four turbocharged engine producing 320 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque, six speed manual transmission only. So if you don't know how to drive a manual, don't want to, uh, uh, want to drive a manual or know how to drive a manual, then I guess you're looking at an Audi a Mercedes AMG or a BMW because those only come with automatics of some type. LSD, that limited slip diff, top speed 167 miles an hour. The vehicle weighs 3,219 pounds and like I said, has that adaptive suspension. Now, if you know how to do the deal, you'll see that front mounted turbocharger nicely placed. We got all of that new intake for your throttle body, the whole nine yards zero to 60 in about 4.8 seconds if you know how to do the dance but while we go ahead we're talking about performance let's see this thing rip down the road let's go to the on throttle exterior of this integra type s All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Acura Integra Type S. We're comparing it to that Euro competition when you're looking at luxury, sport, performance, compact size vehicles. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I have been online. I have priced those other vehicles out. They have been well into the $60,000 range plus, depending on the options. How much is this one? MSRP? for the way this one is pretty much spec'd out is right around $51,000. Let's see what you get for the money and how it stacks up to the competition, to the door panel. I love the luxurious, sporty, two-tone style, real aluminum trim, especially with our ELS Studio 3D sound system. You're gonna get that premium sound over 500 watts of power. It's actually 530 watts, 16 speakers, and you'll notice that great two-tone style with the dark cherry red. Door pocket, good size for a nice California burrito. What is that? That's a burrito that's comprised 90% of guacamole, 10% everything else, and a large bottle of kombucha to wash it down. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, I applaud Acura for no gloss black. Very limited on the gloss black. Going to cut down on glare, no fingerprints, and they carry the two-tone all the way through from the door panels to the center console and the seats. The one area where the competition is kind of walk all over 
this Integra Type S is the infotainment system. It is that nine inch system. It's black and white, nothing very exciting. I know some people don't like the floating iPad style. It really doesn't bother me very much, but I have to admit the competition does bring it with their infotainment. What I do like though, is when you go into your different modes, look at the graphics, comfort, sport, sport plus, and then of course we have individual where you could individually customize each of the parts. And I love the way it shows the Integra Type S there. Working our way down, we do have dual climate control, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. Let me know how you feel about that. USB-A, USB-C, and a 12 volt, so they got you connected perfectly, wireless charging, and what you can't get on the competition is this bad boy right here. That slick shifting six-speed manual transmission, this is where you make the magic happen, just like your parents made the magic happen when they wound up making you. So this is where it all comes together. Nice short throws, crisp engagement, great looking shift knob. Type S, a little bit of gloss black, but nothing too crazy. You got your two cup holders, nice soft leather. Open it up. Here's our key fob, looking good. And I think they do a really good job of making the key fob unique, especially compared to the competition. And you could put, I would say, five California oranges in there. Now you're probably wondering, well, Joe, California oranges, guess what? California produces more oranges than Florida. Mind blown. Seats, Type S badge, the leather, the microfiber suede material, new bolstering, new seat frame. The Zonk is manual seats for the passenger. I have electric assist at least, but in a luxury vehicle, we gotta have dual power seats. And another thing that might irk you is there's no sunroof available. Let me know if you feel that should be a Zonk, but why don't you come over here to the business end I want to show you how the wheel stacks up to the competition in this Integra Type All right, S. guys, business time. This is where you want to be sitting. I promise you that. You have a nice high-end Type S aluminum sill plate. Of course, we have our aluminum triple pedals, nicely spaced so you could do that heel toe downshifting. Remember, you can't get these on the competition. Simple dead pedal. I wish it was aluminum, but look, we have the Type S floor mats. That's worth an additional five horsepower right there. Seats. They're a good balance of sporty, but also comfort. I just wish they would have gave me a little bit more sporty. The bottom bolstering is a little low, but you do have your 12-way adjustable seats, especially with the lower lumbar, easy to get to that. And then of course the steering wheel, done right as it should be. Perfect thickness, you got your perforated leather, smooth leather, red stitching, just like a Babe Ruth baseball, the Type S badge, it is manual tilting and telescoping. And then of course you have that 10.25 inch digital gauge cluster that actually changes with the modes. I'm gonna keep it in Sport Plus because that's where the sound really is it, with the exhaust and I love the yellow needles, just like on the irregular, your original Type R, Integra that is, and then you have a head-up display. But while we go ahead, let's show you the cargo area. If you wanna see the back seat, I'll leave the full super in-depth review of this vehicle at the end of this one, but we're hitting the cargo and then we're hitting the twisty bits to go on throttle in this Integra Type S. All right, guys, one area where the Acura Integra Type S lays the smack down on is gonna be the cargo area when you look at the competition. Easy to pop it, you just hit that button underneath the Acura badge, you're gonna be greeted to 24.3 cubic feet of space with the rear seats up. If you need more space, obviously those rear seats do a 60-40 split, but this is where it just lays the smack down on the trunk competition with the BMW, with the Mercedes AMG, and the Audi S3. But you know what? I've been dying to say this for a long time. Let's go on throttle in this Acura Integra Type S. All right, guys, we are in this 2024 Acura Integra Type S. Time to go through the twisty bits and see really what is the performance of this vehicle. Now, what's great is, is you're gonna get that automatic rev match downshift feature with that great slick shifting six-speed manual transmission. If you wanna turn it off, it's easy to turn off and then you get to do your own heel toe downshifting. The sound is glorious, not only on the outside, but definitely on the interior in here. Really, really great to have the head-up display. And then, like I said, just the torque, the way they were able to start that peak torque around 2,400 RPM really gives you that nice pushback in the seat. 
to give you that awesome experience. What's wonderful is that compared to the Type R, and this is not some official comparison video with the Type R, even though I'm in Sport Plus mode, it's not as rigorous with the hard bumps. So that's a really nice detail. I'm gonna bring it down to about second gear and then we're gonna go on throttle. Are you ready? On throttle, here we go. <laughs> nice. Really, really does a great job getting that power to the ground with that limited slip diff. The tachometer flashes bright red as you get to that 7,000 RPM red line. But here we are driving the twisty bits in California and it's just a pleasure with this vehicle. And that's something that Honda and Acura have always done well, is the communication from the front wheels through to the steering wheel. And it's like this vehicle behaves unlike any other front wheel drive car out there. It gets the power to the ground without the torque steer. It allows you to really feel comfortable and connected to help you just boost confidence. Let's go on throttle from a dead stop, shall we? I'm gonna shut the traction control off. Are you ready? I'm ready. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> nice! But as you can see, we stayed totally straight and true. There was no torque steer or anything like that. So it was really, really great. If you feel like in Sport Plus mode, the suspension is a little too harsh for you, you could then go into that individual setting, put everything Sport Plus, and keep the suspension in comfort. But here we go through the twisties. Just holds a line really, really well. Even though this road is not pool table smooth, it does a great job. Obviously, all the great work done to the chassis making it more rigid, having the wider wheels and tires is not only gonna help with grip, but also with stability. But here we go, pitching it into this left-hand bend. Just holds a line very, very well, and you're not having to really white knuckle the steering wheel whatsoever. But the pops, the bangs, and the sounds, this is what I wish my Type R would have sounded like from the factory, that's for sure. <laughs> Look at this. And then you can just keep working that throttle, just building in the speed and where the torque comes into play very, very nicely. Seats, they're very comfortable and supportive, and I think it's a, it's a good comfort. It's not like a squishy substance. They're not too hard. They're kind of like that Goldilocks of seat if you're looking for something that is going to be more comfortable daily driving. I just, like I wish, like I said, I wish they had ventilated seats um, at this price point. I think one of the things that I'm enjoying the most is just how communicative the front of the car is with the back of the car. It really allows you to be precise with your inputs on the steering wheel, your inputs on the brakes, we have those larger rotors letting me shed speed just as fast as a Husky sheds hair. So you're gonna be able to slow this thing down very nicely. And of course, there's no body roll here. It really is very precise and predictable. And the great news is, is this transmission it just brings the joy of driving front and center to the Integra name. And I feel like that's not what you're gonna get with the AMG, with the Audi, or the BMW. I mean, look at this. It's just so precise. It's very scalpel precise. Like you could do brain surgery in this vehicle while you're driving. I don't recommend that, but you can. That's how precise it is. But coming out of the corner, just pulls all the way up to red line. So it's really cool how, depending on the road, depending on the track, you're not gonna be 
running through the gears all the time. Even though this gearbox is super sweet to shift, you'll be able to hold it in third, hold it in fourth, and still build all that power up to that red line. I love the, the pops, they're so precise. And it's like one of those things where it doesn't sound super artificial. I think that's one of the things that kind of irks me a little bit is you get certain people that get tunes done to their vehicles so that they pop and bang like all the time. And it's just a little too over the top. This has the right little sprinkling of pops and bangs. It's sort of like when you were a kid and you're eating Rice Krispies and your mom would let you put some sugar. She wouldn't let you hopefully pour a whole tablespoon of sugar on your Rice Krispies, but just a little sprinkling. Just a little sprinkling. That's how I feel with this uh, Integra Type S. But definitely the sound inside being pumped in is not as intrusive as the Type R. And it sounds very natural. You know, you drive the BMW, you drive the Mercedes, you drive the Audi. Some of their sounds they pump in, it's like, where the heck are they getting this from? It doesn't sound like any kind of car, but this really has a great tone to it, especially when connected with the exhaust, making the real sounds outside. Look at that, just gets the power down to the ground, coming out of the corner. <laughs> I love this. Oh, I could do this all day. And sometimes I do. Really, really smooth. The way that they have fine-tuned the throttle really allows it to feel supernatural. Like, almost like there's a throttle cable still there. And then, don't forget, that active exhaust is opening and closing at different times depending on what you're doing with the throttle. It's not just simply, oh, you're in Sport Plus mode, I'm gonna open up the exhaust valve and just make a bunch of noise. It's actually opening and closing at different parameters as you're driving. So it really allows the vehicle not only to sound good, but also for you to have that proper balance of power. All right guys, we're getting a little bit of the tighter twistier roads here, and this is really another area where the Type S is gonna shine performance wise, especially with the way the chassis is designed. And of course, those 19 by nine and a half inch wheels and the 265 rubber that's wrapped around them. It's like tires are probably the most critical of all performance things that you can do because it allows you to have extra grip, but not just grip in a straight line, grip under braking and grip in the twisty bits. What I really like is that on the straightaways, I haven't felt like the suspension has been too rough, which in my Type R, if I have it in plus R mode, it's, it's very bouncy. Another thing I'm sure some people are wondering, is there a lot of rev hang? No, they've kind of really gotten a hold of that over not only the Type R, but this Type S as well. But this transmission is absolutely superb to row through. And if you're new to driving a manual transmission, you're gonna like how good the clutch is and the clutch pedal and how nice and just crisp each throw is on this six-speed manual. All right, guys, we are on this very wide, very open area, absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. And of course, we need to do some on throttle, right? I mean, that's what we're here for. But I kind of want to show how the vehicle drives. Are you ready? On throttle, here we go. Nice. No torque steer. It just gets down to business. Brakes feel freaking spectacular and obviously the way this thing handles is like second to none especially when you're thinking about price you start checking off those boxes on your Audi S3 or your AMG 
CLA. I mean, you're looking 60 and up, depending on how many boxes you check off. But just really fun to toss this vehicle around because it's so responsive and the feedback just allows you to feel so confident. And I know a lot of people are like, but I want all wheel drive. This car doesn't need all wheel drive. It, we've been driving it in the rain. We've been driving it while it's tr still dry. It really does possess this nice balanced feel. And you gotta remember, you go all wheel drive, like an Audi S3, you got extra weight. You have, the engine doesn't spin up as faster because it's gotta send power to all four wheels. This, the engine is very lively, really spins up nicely because it's got that same lighter flywheel from the Honda Civic Type R. And I'm telling you, money for money, dollar for dollar, this six-speed manual is just a thing of glory. It's, it's one of the best transmissions currently available on any modern performance car. And there's really not many to choose from, to be honest with you. But look at this. I mean, you could just roll into throttle in a turn and it just grips. And that's what I love about this car. And then the fact that if you just want to cruise, it's comfortable as well. I haven't had to reposition my seat or anything like that. Visibility is great, even out the back. And that's one thing that I think might surprise you is because you have that sleek sport back design, but yet plenty of visibility. You got all the safety features, blind spot monitoring, uh, emergency brake assist, lane keep assist. And you could of course shut all those things off, which is wonderful as well. But I'm hoping that this first drive on throttle review has been eye-opening to what this Acura Integra Type S is all about and what it's bringing compared to the competition. We're going to get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. Wow, wow, wow. What a on throttle experience this Acura Integra Type S has been. I definitely want to thank the whole Acura team for inviting us to this media event so we could get behind the wheel, which means you get to go with us. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Does the Integra Type S bring enough to make it that better luxury performance compact vehicle over an Audi, over a Mercedes AMG or a BMW? Let me know down in that comment section which way you're going. I definitely know that the Acura folks want to find out as well. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up to LG Rady. Lori working that camera like a champ. Show us some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for working so hard and everything that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.